Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video of mine. So today I am unboxing ATZ's The World EP1 Movement. It is the new era for ATZ if you did not know. I can't remember which mini album this is, but number it is. But ATZ finally came back. I think their last comeback was what, in November or October, November. It was kind of like the end of the year of 2021 and they finally came back on July 29th. I am finally excited to unbox all my copies of albums, I think most of them have arrived besides my Hello82 copies. I can't remember how many copies I bought of those. I do have nine copies right here from K-Town For You. K-Town For You did not have any pops. I already bought these thinking that they would. Um, I mean, no matter what, I would have bought the nine copies anyway from K-Town For You because I do collect OT8 for 80s album stuff. I guess let's just get into this. We have a lot of albums unboxed. I'm so excited. The concepts and everything were amazing and oh i have been waiting it's been overdue it's a very overdue comeback um uh, we've all been waiting for them to come back and finally put out album which is so amazing by the way so we're gonna start with the um first version there are three versions um we have version a dire version and version z so we have the a version so we do have the front of the, of the cover and then we do have the back which the other albums will make 80s in the back so I'm so excited as you can see they went back to the little box packaging I'm in a group chat and on Twitter and I was like tell them like what if they went back to like the little score packaging and sure enough I called it <laughs> I'm really excited like so happy that they went back to this packaging I really do love the little score packaging it's like iconic to be honest so we do have the photo book which is so tiny so we have the front of the photo book the side and the so this is the first photo book and I am so excited when these photo like the concept photos dropped and stuff his half hair like his half black half hair is everything Oh, I love Hungman's half black, half hair. And then we have Songwa, and if you don't know, Songwa is my bias. I do stand OT8, like, that's why I call it OT8. But, uh, god, Songwa is so handsome, like, look at him. And then his, like, undercut, like, the shave parts, too. Oh, it looks so good on him, like, he pulls it off so well. He looks so stunning. And then Yunho, <sighs> stunning. They all look so stunning this comeback. And then we have Yo Song with his hair and his eyes just matching. I know they're, they're like contacts, but like ugh, his blue hair is everything. And then we have Sam, his long hair. Oh, they look so good. And then we have Mingi. Wu Young. Oh my god. I mean,. Okay, if you guys did not know, Wu Young has been coming at me lately. Like, oh, it's just crazy. They look so good. Like this comeback, oh, and like the little details too. If you don't see that, those were from their like their Kingdom stage for Rhythm Tall. I knew when when they did Kingdom, and when Rhythm Tall came out for their stage, I knew something was up. Just like the way it was, I'm just like. This is a spoiler. This is going to be something for a comeback in the future. And sure enough, it is. It was a big giant spoiler that this is the concept that they were going to go for in the starting new era after Fever era. And it's just crazy how they literally use Kingdom to set up their storyline even more. Like, they're so smart. <laughs> it's just crazy. And I know they did a comeback stage on Mnet, and they did the same theme for Rhythm Tall, which is just crazy because we all know how Mnet is, <laughs> and probably how the um the boys feel about them too. So everything they do is like they think very very like they have everything planned so smoothly. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Ugh, they look so good. Everything. Oh my god, I'm. It's been a long way for this comeback. Everything about this comeback to you guys is amazing. So we do have the album inclusion. So this is the seed E, which is really pretty, I think. And then we do have, and then we do have a little ad for the Superstar ATs thing. So obviously I need to get my photo card. I'm gonna have so many of these. 
can't now wait because um, I love playing that game. And we do have the stickers. Wait, do they not do postcards? Do they do postcards? Did I, am I missing something? Do they not do postcards, you guys? I think they did not do postcards. Oh my god, do they not do postcards? Oh my god. Okay, that's that's different. I have to like relook at everything. <laughs> I they did not do postcards. Did I not see that? So this is a little mini poster. Um with their initials for their name and the track listing is on here they did not do postcards that makes me a little sad a little bit but it's okay so we do have the track listing so propaganda is the intro and then their title track is gorilla i think it's called gorilla i could be wrong it is so good um the theme that they went with was, was like pop hunk which i'm here for it and i can't oh my god every song is just amazing the ring is my favorite song off the whole album but every song is amazing like they literally have no bad songs their whole discography is amazing you guys like 80s does not disappoint like every song is that song that could be a title track every song is like a, a title track song and that's how 80s songs are always are like that like ugh, so good we have three photo cards obviously the limited the normal photo card and the id so we're gonna check out the id who i got so this is the back of it, and I got Woo Young's ID card. I do plan on collecting OT8 for all of those, for all three versions. And then we do have the album photo card. This is the back, and I did get Woo Young's photo card. Oh my god! And they did the shiny ones and the round edges this time. Oh my god. So beautiful. I love- okay, that card of his is so cute. And then the limited version of the card, this is upside down. This is the back and I did get Yunho's photo card for the limited version. Oh my god, I love that. So we do have the diary version. So this is the front and then the back of it. And I do like the new logo that they're going with. So we do have the photo books. We have the front, the side, and the back of the photo book. Um, I think the diary, okay, I love all the concepts, but I feel like the diary and the Z version is, like, more my favorite concepts. The intro, oh, yeah, that's right, it's a diary. So, if you do not know, the diary versions do have their storyline to help with their storyline for us to figure out their storyline. I will read this on my own because I'm pretty sure no one wants to be able to hear me read this at all. Not one bit. So, we're just gonna skip to this part. Yeah, I love the yellow. I love the yellow theme, like, for this. And they all look so good. They look so good. <laughs> this comeback, oh my god, like, this this comeback, let me tell you guys. Um, a lot of things we've been achieving as a fandom for a teeny, And so far, we broke the two-win curse. So, 80s won three awards and counting. They potentially could win five wins, maybe six. And they did make it on last night. So if you don't know, today is Monday. I'm finally unboxing these. These arrived on Thursday, like nighttime. I was working on my other job, so I couldn't unbox them right away and get them up. And usually, I already like did, like I already got these ovens before my K-Town for You copies came in. Oh my god, Jung Ho looks so good. And, but I want to do a official unboxing of everything when my k-town for you copies came in because usually for k-town for you i always do an unboxing for those albums and whatnot but last night they when i got home from st louis i saw the news that they made it in the top three and they were number three on billboard 200 Right after Beyonce and Bad Bunny, which is just so crazy to me that they made it in the top five. Like, I'm so proud of them. They actually potentially could have gotten number one on Billboard 200 if, like, Beyonce and Bad Bunny did not have an album coming out. But honestly, I'm just so proud of them being by big names for a small company group and not part of the big four for groups. So I'm just so proud of them. Obviously, if you don't know, Hello D2 was the one that helped us put Bill... 80s on the bill on billboard and stuff um not their u.s label their u.s label kind of sucks so um yeah anyway let's go look at the polls so we have the cd oh i like that one the cds are really cute this time around and then we have the stickers and then we do have like the poster <sighs> i kind of wish we got postcards though not gonna lie
and then we do have the superstar 80s thing and then for all the inclusions for the id card i got mingy's id card and then for the normal album photo card oh these this is a little bent right there um we got hung june's card oh my god that is everything and then for the limited card i got Yunho's limited card. Oh my god, that is oh my god. These cards, I saw a whole template for OT8 and oh, it made me so excited to collect OT8. And then we have the last version of the photo of the, like all the versions of the photo book. So this is the front and the back. This is the Z version. So we have the front, the side, and the back. I love the colors of the albums. They're so pretty. Ah, we have this, this concept photos. They look so good. And like when they did their stages and these outfits, so good. They all look so good, so stunning. Wow, look at Yosong. Yosong has been really like. Also, like kind of like bias. Okay, I bias OT8, so I don't know. All eight of them come after me, like, 24-7, so, and we have Mingi, I don't know, I love, like, the style of this one, of, like, their clothing, it's kind of, like, streetwear, but, like, not, but, like, it is, <laughs> y'all look so good, Jung Ho, oh my god, I love this. They are just so stunning. They all look so good. Wow. This, okay, these photo, oh my god, that group photo. Oh my god, so cute. I like it. Okay, so we do have the CD. And then we do have the stickers, um, the Superstar 80s thing to get a free card. And then we do have a little mini poster with the track listing on it. And then the back. Okay, now for the polls. Um, sorry if I went through these pretty fast. There are tons of unboxings already, especially due to the fact that Hello 2 hosted cup sleeve events. So you can buy albums that help AT's chart on Billboard. So we do have the ID card and I pulled Songwa's ID card. And then for the album photo card, this is the back. And then I did pull, oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, Mingyi. I love that. That photo card is so cute. And then for the limited card, I pulled Mingyi's card. Oh my god, so stunning! Uh, wow, <laughs> Mickey's cards! That is so cute, I can't. On to the other six copies of the album. I'm just gonna quickly open them up, show you my polls, because obviously you don't need to unbox the whole album, since I already did that. Um, I did actually go to a Hello 82 Cup Sub event. That video will be up eventually. I'm so behind on editing videos. I've been just so busy. I've been like all over the place been like going to concerts and ugh, the whole works you guys it's been crazy so um for the id card i did pull yunho's card and i think i pulled another Young's. i think that's a duplicate and i did pull sans limited card oh my god you guys these cards are everything. I can't wait to click OT9. I can't wait. If anyone's wondering, did I finish Fever Epilogue? I do have eventually a photo card video. I did film one, but like I didn't like it at all. Um, but I do have more PCs to store. So eventually I will do a storing photo card video. Um, I'm pretty much done collecting OT8 for Fever Epilogue. I'm just missing one Songwa card. And it's the most hardest card to find. Or people are selling it for like $30 for a photo card. And like no when it's an album photo card. And you can just sell it for like $5 to me. Like not happening. I did buy one. I did find one on Makara Japan and whatnot. But still has not arrived at all. So whatever. <laughs> 
hopefully eventually it will come to the in mail but otherwise right now it's like missing so for the id card oh my god these polls for the id card i get to get song was id card and then i did pull wing for the limited card and for the album from my photo card i pulled mingies oh my god so cute i did get the digi packs and those have came in so i'll be doing an unboxing of those as well that'll be a separate video um and then i do have my heli 2 signed copies that came in so that'll be another video of its own so i have so much 80s content you guys for you a lot of unboxings okay and then for the id i got Jung Ho's ID card, and I pulled Sangwa's album photo card. I pulled Sangwa's photo card, and then Woo Young's limited photo card. Oh my god, so cute! And then for the last copy of the diary version, let's see who I pulled. Okay, so my phone like stopped recording, but these are my pulls for the last copy of the diary version, which, oh my god, all the cards look so good. They look so good. And then the last two copies of the Z version, which I pulled Sangwa, Mingi, and no, a duplicate album. So I got a duplicate album, which is fine. I can trade. It's not that big of a deal. So another a duplicate album. Are we surprised? It's K-Town for you. They would do something like that. And then the last one out of the nine copies from K-Town for You. I am a little sad that they did not have a pop for K-Town for You, but it is what it is, I suppose. And then this is not a duplicate album, so I got Williams ID card. I got Sans photo card for the album photo card. And I got Jung Ho's. Oh my god! His limited card oh my god that is so that is so cute okay so here are all my polls all together um so i did get some duplicate cards which is not that big of a deal i will trade but i'm gonna i won't trade until i get all my copies um because that is the best way to do so so yeah oh my god i can't believe these finally these albums finally came in i was finally unboxing them for you i do have the digi packs to unbox still my hello a2 signed copies and then more hello a2 album copies i have a lot of 80s content for you guys so i hope you guys do did enjoy this unboxing my full unboxing of the albums and me showing my polls for all nine copies but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I know it's been like ages since I unboxed an album. Sorry about that. I've been just so busy and I'd rather go to concerts and travel than buy albums at the moment. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please give it a like and go subscribe if you want to to stay updated. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!